Hello. Hello my friends, how are you today? My name is Sunny and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. In this channel we love to go thrifting, we love DIYs, we love upcycling things that we find at the thrift store. Today's project, it's a DIY project. I'm going to be doing with you guys these super cute handbag you don't see it very good here it's a nice little handbag with an extra large bow as a handle i just did one for myself the other day i was attending the melbourne fashion week and i was wearing my coordinated set that i did from a thrifted blanket the upcycle project of one of my previous videos and i thought i needed to have like a matching handbag i actually made this one i wanted to film it for you guys but because it was the first time that i was attempting something like this wasn't sure how it was gonna end up i did it like really late at night yeah like my face and the situation was not for how would you say it was not for youtube approval or <laughs> <laughs> whatever it was not suitable for me to be filming this one also because i wasn't sure about the measurements and how it would look like but after seeing the end result and also seeing it in a few pictures i thought it would be a very cool beginner friendly project that you guys if you like it you can attempt it also i'm going to share actually here a few pictures of me wearing it and if you like it of course i would love to see if you guys attempt it now that i have one minute Made. now that I know which things would I change for the next one or not I will show you how to do one for yourself I'll first show you the things that you will be needing for this project and these are main fabric if you can find it at the thrift store that's great so you don't need to buy any new ones you will need some interfacing also so that the bag like, has uh, more body and more uh, sturdy you will need a measuring tape or ruler and you would also need some fabric scissors an iron i think it always looks better if you press all of the seams so that they look neater and of course our wonderful and best friend our sewing machine so for the bag that i made i didn't have any interfacing and as i told you it was already almost night time so i couldn't go to the store to buy some interfacing. I just used some old fabric that I had from a previous project. But for this one, you guys, I'm going to be using interfacing because I think it's going to look nicer and the end result will be better. I've chosen this color fabric that I just have. You guys, if you see my stack of fabrics that I have, every time I go thrifting and I see any fabrics that I think it will be suitable for any future projects, I just buy them. Maybe. I'll have them in that stack like for a year before I do anything. I prefer to buy them at the thrift store instead of going and buying them new. I actually bought these two together the pink and the blue one. I always think that this kind of materials is typical from a costume. So maybe someone was doing like a, I don't know, like a princess or like Alice in Wonderland costume. Who knows, right? And now I'm going to be telling you the measurements that we will be using. So we will need from the main fabric that I've chose this blue fabric. We will need two rectangles for the body of the handbag, 68 centimeters by 28 centimeters, the lining and the body of the handbag. Then for the interfacing, we will only reduce that size a little bit and we will need 67 centimeters by 27 centimeters. And then from the main fabric again, we will need the, the two rectangles for the handles and the extra large bow. We will need two Two rectangles of 132 centimeters times 26 centimeters. This one we will fold it in half and then we will do the two straps. So this is everything that we need for today. Let's start the project. Hey you guys, I think this fabric is not the best one for the interfacings that you have to press them with the iron because it gets like super super sturdy and what I did was place it on top of the wrong side of the fabric and I fold it in half and I sewed along the two edges so, and I'm going to do the same one with the other part of the fabric right sides together and we fold it in half super easy and we just need to do the two sides of the fabric 
So we do one and two simple uh, stitches. Okay. And see my allowance, I'm just sleeping. How much is this from my sewing machine? It's like one and a half centimeters, so like half an inch. By the way, I forgot to tell you because this fabric, it's so... I don't know how to explain it, but the tension of your sewing machine has to be in the least tension. If not, it's going to all like a crumble. To do the base of the handbag, we press the side piece down to the base of the bag to create a triangle at the corner. Measure 3 inches from side to side and mark with a pen or marker. Sew along the drawn line. Do this for both corners of the outside body and also the lining. Then snip off the excess corners. All right, you guys, so now that we have the two main parts of the bag already underway, almost finished, we're going to tackle the handles. So it's pretty straightforward. Here we have one of the rectangles. So we're going to fold it in half with right sides together on the long part. Not like this, like this. So all along the long part and we're going to sew it it's super straightforward what i always do is start from this corner and what i'll do is start sewing from here and then all the way down to the other part of this rectangle this is going to be the part like this part here the other end you don't really need to close it because then we need to turn it around so don't close it you can actually pin it before you do it but i just figured like it was going to take a long time to pin all this up i can manage doing it at the same time that i sew i can be handle it with the sewing machine i won't go too fast though So before I turn it around, what I always do is cut all the edges so you don't have that much fabric. So I just cut it so I have like a really neat hem, although you won't see it because you will turn it around. But once you turn it around, it looks better. You don't feel like all the wrinkled fabric. I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself. Let me show you how much I cut. I think it looks neater. So I cut all this. So it's way neater before we fold it the other way around. Now that we have the two straps ready, I really suggest you guys, if you do it of course, to press the straps once you have them already the other way around. You can press them later, but I think it's, I don't know, I think it's easier to do it when they're not already sewn into the handbag. We're in the last part actually. Let me just uh, pick my two parts of the handbag. So we have the two sides of the handbag. What I did was the one that doesn't have the, um, what's the name again? The interfacing. I already put it upside down, okay? So it's already the good side out. Today is such a moody day that I'm not, I don't know how am I talking. Okay, so now we insert this part that is the other way around. We insert it inside this one. And it should fit because it's exactly the same size. We just make sure that the corners that we did before are aligned. Okay, corner and corner. And here too, corner and corner. Perfect. This is what we have now. This is going to be great because the one that I did didn't have enough support here in the base. I had to put just a little piece of cardboard. So now what we've got to do before we stitch it, we're going to be folding. So we will fold the outside part. We will fold it this way. And then the other part will fold it this other way. 
and then we will stitch it together for this you guys if you have these kind of like they sell like little pegs but for sewing if you have those i think that would be like the best i don't have i only have my needles which for this material is not particularly the best one but we'll try to make it out I was putting the two sides together. I always try to do like the whole handbag and then I add the straps. So now in the middle here where you have the seam, we have to incorporate, incorporate? Oh, we had to add the two straps. What I did was just here, you put it between the two sides. I think I'm explaining myself. I always try to have like the two back seams always in the same side. So for example, this one, the same is here. So I will put it the same side of the seam here. So I will put it like this. And you just have to insert it and that's it. Pretty easy. I just take out the needles, insert this one between the two. I also do the needles first, it takes a bit of shape. And then when I put the strap, it's easier for me. Just make sure that the handle or the strap is secure. All right. And once it's done, we just have to go to the sewing machine and sew all these together. You can do one or two rows of stitches, up to you. In the pink one, I only did one row of stitches. I could have done two. It's actually quite secure. Of course, when I'm about to finish the project, my bobbin finishes its thread. Its thread. Yeah, bobbin without thread. I'm only about to finish like, I don't know, five centimeters. Yeah, I need to thread some Oh, I need to thread some thread in the bobbin. Do you say it like that? I'm not sure. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I hate that when you're about to finish a project or actually when you're in the middle of the project. I know I should have some bobbins already made, but I always say that I'm gonna make them and then I don't. <laughs> but yeah, just let me finish this. Okay, you guys, so we have the handbag. What you need to do now is do a fluffy and super cute bow. I always do the bow and then I try to puff it up just a little bit. And this is the final result. I will be sharing here some pictures or videos of me wearing it so you can see how it looks. I'm not going to do it now because it's raining, but yeah, when I wear it and before I post the video, I will. Hope you guys have enjoyed this project. Let me know in the comments if you like it if you're going to attempt it also if you have any doubts or whatever just let me know and i will try to answer your questions this has been all for today you guys thank you so much for watching if you have liked this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so i would really 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 appreciate it hope you have a lovely day and see you guys in the next one bye